today, morning is here. Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another Action Max episode here on Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out. So what we have today is eight brand new cartoons, a whole new lineup, which is what we're going to have every single week. See, the Action Max and the Family Max, they each have five lineups apiece and eight episodes of brand new cartoons, different cartoons in each lineup. So I don't know how to do that math, but what's eight times five? That's what, 40? Yizzle's the mathematician. Anyways, for the next roughly three months to four months, there will not be the same cartoons back to back. So we encourage you to come on this journey with us because when, once we reach the end of that journey, we'll be playing the next episode in line starting all the way back. So we will be doing this for a very long time. But you are here today for Action Max. And what do you think of the journey so far, Yizzle? I think it's pretty good so far. I like that people are liking it a lot. She likes that you guys like it. And so do I. So thanks for hanging out. And... So get yourself a heaping bowl of your favorite part of a balanced breakfast and hang out with us here from 8 to noon here on Saturday morning. Cartoon Max out! John Blackstar, astronaut. <laughs> is swept through a black hole into an ancient alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Black Star is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. Who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword and the Star Sword. And so, with Star Sword in hand, Black Star, together with his allies, sets out to save the planet Sagar. This is his destiny. I am John Blackstar. She is there, Vizier, there in the temple of the cave apes. But the cave apes worship her, my lord. Will they let us take her? They worship her, but they fear me. There she is, overlord. Amber the sorceress, wrapped in sleep for centuries. She will lead me to the lost city of Tamborion and the powers of the Ancient Ones. The Lord, the Cave Apes! Pull them back! Ready, Vizier. You attacking me? Cast your spell, Vizier, while my power sword holds her. Amber, we are your friends. You will lead us to Tamborion and the powers of the Ancient Ones. Yes, 
You shall have the secrets of the Ancient Ones. At last! With such power at my control, Black Star will be doomed! Stay right here! We'll be back after these messages. It's new for your kids. Laser lights! Laser lights! It's Black Star! Defender of right! Be ready to fight! The evil overlord! Laser lights! The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava lock face to face. Laser lights! Laser lights! Toys R Us, the store that's number one. Toys R Us, come to the store that's lots of fun. Toys R Us, the world's biggest toys, 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 Monkey bird. <laughs> I'm telling you, Pluto, you better not fool with Balkar's magic. I told you so! Pluto, put that down! That's ice from the Overlord's palace! You're gonna get in trouble! I wonder if this planet will ever get back to the peacefulness of ancient times. That came from Bolkar's lab. Oh, what have you done? What did you conjure up with that eye? Lord's Ice Palace! It's Amber the Sorceress! She was my ally centuries ago. On to Tamborian. The mystic scroll will reveal the powers of the Ancient Ones. I feel a strange presence. Amber, it is I! Your friend, Mara, you must remember! Mara, my friend. Don't listen to her, Amber. She is your enemy. Your enemy! Mara is my enemy. Take them, Amber. Take all of them.
excellent amber. And now to Tamborion. After you, my friend. As for my enemies, they are well in hand. Where are we, clone? Wherever we are, I don't think we're alone. Shh. What? What's happening? Clone? Why would Amber lead the Overlord to Tamborion? She must be under his spell. Yes, and if the Overlord finds the lost scroll of the Ancient Ones, we are all doomed. Black Star follows us. This should keep them occupied. A sandstorm! It is the Overlord's doing. It's burying us! Excellent! Now the way is clear to Tamborion. And powers beyond imagination. Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Throughout time, people have asked, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Maybe it was a Manglor, like Manglor Demon. You can pretend to hatch Manglor Dragon and Manglizard, too. Each sold separately in a make-believe egg. You can stretch them, squash them, take them apart. They'll return almost like new to their original forms. So if you want to hatch up some fun, you can crack open a Manglor. The Manglors, Manglor Demon, Manglor Dragon, and Manglizard, each sold separately from Ideal. Airlandia, the Air Raiders Command Post prepares for the Tyrant's Dragon Wind attack. Hit it with everything we've got! Thunderclaw! Watch! Remote missiles! Fire! Hold on to your helmets, men! Air, in the air. Launch glider! Fire! Good shot! Launch claw! Launch storm dagger! Their army's at the command post! Air, Rock slide! Air Raiders Command Post and Claw and Tyrant's Dragon Wind needs complete with figures. Air, There's one chance, if I can fuse the sand into a dome. Now, what do we do about the sandstorm? Balkar, your magic is that of the elements. With my power behind it, we can stop the storm. Well, I guess we don't need this dome anymore. I'll never get used to having such incredible strength. <laughs> I hope you never lose it. Let's go. I feel dizzy, Overlord. You have tricked me. But now your spell has worn off. Not for long. You were saying, Amber? I was saying, I wonder how my guests are enjoying their stay. Yay! Looks like we're trapped.
quick thinking. Well, we're safe from the crystal creature, but we still don't know where we are. Bravo, Amber! I am impressed by your powers. Even the flame mountains cause us no threat. There will be threat enough when we reach Tamborian. There we must face Sumaro, the Guardian. Tamborian! There is the Sanctum of Wisdom. Within it is the Scroll of the Ancients. Finally, the knowledge of the Ancient Ones is mine! Tight, you two. This doesn't look like a fun place to visit. That was worse than some of Riff's cooking. Tamborian. After all these centuries. What is that? Guardian of Tamborian. We must save Amber from him. Slingshot, Goliath. Black Star! This is our chance. Sumero will destroy them while we get away. It is I, your friend, Mara. No, no, I can't. I must help them. You fool! The Overlord! Back, you rebel! Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Help! 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 Time 
time for a balanced breakfast with Cheerios. You got to go with Cheerios. And the Cheerios that help you grow. Here. Oh. Here. 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 Cheerios. Why I Like Showbiz Pizza by Jennifer Marie Adams. Showbiz is where kids of all ages can have fun with rides, games, shows, and pizza. If you're a kid, I highly recommend you go. You could even bring your little brother. You got it right, it's time for fun. And Showbiz Pizza kids are number one. You can dance, you can play, you can do it your way. Showbiz Pizza, where a kid can be a kid. For Park and my Corvette, the Matchbox Garage, the best you can get. The place I park my horse and my Dodge is right here in the good old Matchbox Garage. There's so much to do at the Matchbox Garage. I'll never get bored with my Model A Ford. Matchbox Super Garage. Any way you set it up, it's the perfect place for all your Matchbox cars. Pug in my 57 Chevy was never this heavy. Hands off, Samaro. Look out! Gang, cavalry's coming. Amber, you've got to help me stop Sumaro. Yes, I will. care of Samaro. Now for the Overlord. Let me give you a reading light, Overlord. Though the 
the scroll is destroyed, there is still much knowledge here in Tamborian. True. And I would much rather stay here and learn it than return to the Temple of the Cave Apes. It's good to know we have another ally in the battle against the Overlord. But Blackstar, you told us that the volcano... I know. But I think it'll take more than a volcano to stop the Overlord. <coughs> Pulo, in recognition of your bravery and cleverness, I am giving you a token of my esteem. <coughs> What's gotten into him? I think it has to do with what he's just gotten out of. <laughs> 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 Stay tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. What a meal, what a meal, a whole bowl of cereal, what a meal, what a meal, a whole
to Tormac's prisoners who try to escape. Looks clear. No Gerza so far. Never know. Score new food. He better be quick. My name is Rava, daughter of a chief. The Gurzas raided my village in the Northlands. They took me prisoner, dragged me to Bandasar in chains, and threw me at Tormak's feet. I was a gift. But I escaped through a secret passageway directly underneath Tormak's castle. A secret passageway? Leading into the castle? Yes. I bribed the Gerza guards and they showed it to me. What did you give them? My jewelry, rings, bracelets, everything except this. A magic armlet. The ruby creates fire, the diamond a crystallizing ray, and the black stone is to be used when all else has failed. Otar's patrol surprised me while I slept. I tried to escape, but... This secret passageway, could you find it again? I think so. Galtar, we could... Yes! Rava, would you lead us back into Bandasar, to the secret passageway into Tormax Castle? It is very dangerous, but since you saved my life, Galtar, I will lead you there. Golita, soon we'll have your sacred shield and my revenge. Bandasar! After we cross the river, we'll scout ahead for our next campsite. She's not bad, eh, Golita? Golita? You're right. I usually am. See how close you can come to that black rock. Sure. I guess I don't know my own strength. Race you to the campsite. Guess I don't know my own strength. Ha! Come on, sis! You can do it! Hmm. I wonder. Let's find out. Stay right 
here. We'll be back after these messages. It's new for your kids. Laser light, laser light, it's Black Star. Defender of right, be ready to fight the evil overlord. Laser light. The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava lock face to face. Laser light, laser light, it's Black Star. From Galoob. Even without his laser gun. What's that? Or his laser axe. A robot! Or his awesome power claw. Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. This unstoppable enemy of evil. Go get him, Roboto! Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. Yeah! Is the most powerful robot in the universe. Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. Roboto. New from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Supernatural! Now you can join the battle between brave Lionheart and evil Skull and their eerie ghostlings. Lion, you're dying! Now, Master! They change to fight with ghostly might. Turn them into the light and they change into even more powerful creatures. Now, the mine in me is free! Take this! Ah! Supernaturals. Lionheart, Skull and Ghostlings sold separately. New from Tonka. This is rude, Ralph. When I pull his eyeball, he can make four really gross noises. I brought him to school today. What a bar! That was totally disgusting. Thanks. From Axlon, Rude Ralph. You think Rude Ralph is disgusting? Yes, I do. Then take a whiff of this. Breath Blaster makes a horrible stink when you squeeze it. Death Breath, Dog Breath, and four other Breath Blasters from Axlon. What next? 8 a.m. I had fruit flavors on my mind and tricks in my sights. This disguise was sure to get some. A detective! How's tricks, sweetheart? Uh, great. Tricks is part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Well, I'll need this for evidence. Play it, Sam. Oranges, lemons, and grapes, I see. The fruit taste of tricks is all for me! Yeah. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. B -b 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 He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> The name is Mr. T. First name is Mr. Middle name is that period. Last name is T. Listen and listen good. I'm talking to you. When a new kid moves in on your block, what's your attitude? Do you figure? What do we need him for? Well, I pity the fool that makes that mistake. I've never seen that before. She's fearless. Well done, Rava. Your turn, Golita. Ha! Child's play. Wait, Golita. A Gamata vulture. We've been spotted. Oh. Ah, missed! Come on, we gotta get out of sight. <laughs> Otar, you carried out your orders too far. It had to look real. Even my own Gerzas didn't know. Everything's going according to plan. They've swallowed the bait. You mean about the secret passageway? Yes. Tell Tormak the Golden Lance will be his by sunset tomorrow. Your uncle will be very pleased with you, Rava. Just so long as he keeps his promise to put me on Golita's throne and make me queen. Till tomorrow. <laughs> We can't let this happen, can we, Tuck? Not unless there's something in it for us, Papa. Oh, one way or another, there will be, my boy. There will be. <laughs> oh! What are you doing here? We're on a business trip. We have something to sell. You always have something to sell. Information about Rava. Goltar's paying a lot of attention to Rava, isn't he? 
A lot. A lot. And just how much would this information cost? A lot. I shouldn't have asked. Sorry, I'm not interested. You'll be back. And next time, the price will be double. Vava isn't who she says she is. Galtar, do you think we can trust Rava? What do you mean? Why shouldn't we? I'm not sure. It's just that... You saw what the Gerzes were doing to her. Yes, I know, but... She's taking us to the Sacred Shield. She's our only way into Bandasar. You're right. It's getting out that worries me. Look! Bandasar! The secret entrance is on the eastern wall. Good. We'll use the shadows as our cover. Let's go. in sight. Yes, and why does that bother me? Ah, sis, stop worrying. Robin knows what she's doing. I'm sure she does. And that bothers me, too. Walking right into Tormac's trap. And we haven't made one thin Kropotnik. I know, I know. You two. What are you doing here? Warning you. You're walking into a trap. What? We tried to tell you before. But you wouldn't listen. Now the price has gone up. But why should I trust you? Why should you trust Rava? At least with us, you get what you pay for. Rava? All right, tell me about the trap. It's a much bigger trap. How much bigger? Tormac size. Hold it. You go on ahead. I've got to see what's keeping Golita. Right. We'll wait for you at the entrance. Galtar! What's wrong? We can't go on. Rava is leading us into a trap. A trap? Who told you that? Rack and Tuck. Those two? How can you have faith in anything they say? This time, I trust them. Oh, I get it. It's because of Rava, isn't it? Don't be stupid. Well, don't be jealous. They saw her talking to Otar. And you believe them? Oh, have it your way. I warned you. I'll be. Golita is actually jealous. This is the stone that controls the passageway. Quiet. There is danger everywhere. You lead. We'll follow. Right behind you. Right into the trap. There's a torch on the wall, Rava. Can you light it with your arm lift? I'll try. Ah! Maybe it's better not to see what's down here. Who put out the light? I can't see a thing. It's all right. Just keep moving. Straight ahead. What was that? I don't know. The floor, it's moving. I should have known. We've been trapped by Tormac. No, trapped by Rava. 
the golden lance. It's gone. <laughs> well done, Rava. Well done indeed. Tormak himself could not have deceived them better. <laughs> Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Power Lords! Instant Rescue Warriors! I am Lord Power, leader of the Lords! Griptog and Rhaegoth are attacking! We must help Psyduck defend Balkan Rock! Power Lord! Griptog has four fists! Psyduck is finished! It's Lord Power! He zapped Griptog's head! But Arcus has Psyduck! <laughs> Power Lords! And Empower Psyduck, Griptog, and Arcus are each sold separately from the Power Lords collection, new from Ravel. Now, Hordak reveals the most gruesome trap ever. The Horde Slime Pit. The what? The Slime Pit. Now, Spike, you're my slave. Not the slime. Yes, my slime will overpower you. I've been slime. No one escapes the evil Horde Slime Pit. Yeah. The evil Horde Slime Pit, new from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together, action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Saga of Crystar, a fantasy world of crystal warriors, demons, and wizards. Good wizards like Ogeodi, evil wizards like Sardeth, and underworld demons like Moltar. They've captured Ogeodi! Each figure with a crystal prism that makes everything look like this. Goodness and might, evil and might, the winner is up to you! The Saga of Crystar collection, each figure sold separately by Remco. Battle Beast! Wood! Fire! Fire burn! Battle Beast! Fire! Water! Water puts out fire! Battle Beast! Water! Wood! Wood beats water! Battle Beast! Battle for the fun of it! Just activate their battle badges. I got fire! I got water! Water beats fire! Battle Beast! Wood! Fire! Fire beats wood! Battle Beast! Can grow into an army! Collect all 84! Battle Beast! Yo, Burgundy! You want this? Yo! On. Julie Slave is food again, Ma. Food fighters, figures in combat card and eat so separately. Toys do not walk and talk. This Robotech show is incredible. Earth is being attacked by these giant aliens, and only the Robotech Defense Force has the power and bravery to stop them. <laughs> you see, Robotech has this terrific hero, Rick Hunter. And when he swoops down, swoosh, his Baratech fighter is Robotech to the rescue. <laughs> Sorry, Golita, you tried to warn me, but I couldn't believe those thieving little dwarves were selling the truth for once. It's not your fault, Galtar. Rava played her part well. Yes, she did. She played it to perfection. Rava, you leave tomorrow for Dindal. In less than a day, you shall be sitting upon Golita's throne as the new princess. Princess? You promised me I would rule as queen. I will choose my queen, dear niece. After I have disposed of Galtar and his friends. <laughs> Dispose of Galtar? What do you mean? Galtar has an engagement with the Gamada Vultures. <laughs> Wait, Uncle. You said you only desired the Golden Lance. You said nothing of Gamada Vultures or Galtar's departure. Didn't I? It must have slipped my mind. Galtar's death was not in our bargain. Bargain? Tormak bargains with no one. Tormak commands and you obey. We will see who obeys. Farewell, innkeeper. That was a fine, hearty meal at a fair price. Ouch! I hate eating under the table, Papa. I know, son. But that way I only pay for one dinner. But tonight the dog ate most of mine. Over here. I have an offer to make you. 
Rock and tough at your service. There isn't anything we won't do for the right price. I'm going to free Galtar. I want you to help me. Accept that. Was that three clinks or four, Papa? Who cares? Keep walking. Well, seeing as you're a lady and in distress, we've reconsidered. I thought you would. Now here's what I want you to do. Oh, who goes there? Rava, niece to Tormac. Of course. Stand aside for the future queen of Dindal. You mean princess. And keep your eyes to yourself. Yes, your highness. Stop crowding, I am Papa. Stand up, you two. Stay alert guarding those prisoners. Hey, look at that! Something's up. Baba's waiting for you at the North Tower. What trick is she up to this time? I don't know about any tricks. I'm just doing what I was paid for. I guess we have no choice. We have one. Don't trust her. The prisoners are escaping! Why are you doing this? Tormac betrayed me. I'm not leaving without the Golden Lance. Where is it? Tormac's vault. Follow me. This is the vault? Yes, stand back. I'll crystallize it. Take him! Get the lance! This way! trouble I caused. When you're in the cage, press the black jewel. But what about you? I'll say you took me hostage and ripped the armlet from my wrist. Tormac will believe me. They're back in the cage. They have trapped themselves. Look! It's Raven's Claw! Rava's armlet must have called him. No! This can't be! <laughs> Tormac's treachery is over. We will return to Bandasar. That I promise. Don't move, another action-packed lineup from Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. You know I love country music and I practice daily on my out-of-tune car.
cockamamie ukulele But my daily ukulele playing ain't gonna get me far I need a guitar, an amp, and some quadraphonics And several hundred dollars worth of electronics If I'm ever gonna get to be a country western star Gotta get me some dollars and cents Dollars and cents Them greenback bills with the pictures of the president Squawking, Miss Becky Sue Why don't you drop by the bank And I'll explain to you How you can make more dollars If you use a little common sense Chill out, young lady No need to fret Although you can't afford To buy that new equipment yet You got a couple hundred bucks Saved up in your birthday stash Why not deposit them dollars In the bank instead Then at the end of the year You come out way ahead Because the bank will pay you money In exchange for the use of your cash And that's called interest You're making money that way And you can buy that gear about a year from today Saving sounds mighty nifty, Mr. Banker, dude You know I'd like to be thrifty, but I ain't in the mood I'm inspired and I'm writing me a brand new country song I got a lot of country western in my blood Like Reba and Loretta and Winona Judd Gotta get me that equipment and I ain't about to wait too long Gotta get me some dollars and cents Dollars and cents And green back deals with the pictures of the presidents. So please, Mr. Banker, won't you tell me how I can get my mitts on some money right now? Cause waiting for my dollars really doesn't seem to make much sense. Why, sure, Becky Sue, I can give you a hand. I can lend you the money, but you must understand. When you borrow from the bank, then you gotta pay it back on time. And when you're done paying back every dollar that's due, you will find you paid them back a little extra too. For every dollar you borrow, you gotta pay the bank a dollar and a dime. Again, that's interest, and it's just a fee. You pay to use the money that you borrow from me. We're talking about dollars and cents, dollars and cents. Of them greenback bills with the pictures of the presidents. Since life is one experience that spares us no expense, we gotta use them dollars with a little bit of common sense. We gotta use them dollars with a little bit of common sense. <laughs> Are you sure Dolly Parton started this way? It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Far away in a distant galaxy, the people of the planet Prismos lived in an age of great technology. They had taken control of all their sources of energy and enjoyed a life of comfort and ease for 7,000 years. But this was not to last, for the realignment of the three blazing suns of Prismos signaled the end of the age of science and technology. Controls aren't responding. I've got to make a crash landing. My power's failing. I'm gonna lose it. Run for it. Scientists are at a loss to explain the disruption of technology across the planet, but authorities warn against panic. <laughs> When all of the electrical energy had been depleted from the world, an age of magic began. But it would take some time before men would believe this. Years passed, and as the old order collapsed, a new, more primitive order rose from the rubble. Feral, Ektar, to arms! So, Darkstorm, once again you attack New Valaric in vain. 
Knowing that the balance of power between Darkstorm and Leora could easily be tipped, both frantically searched for a military advantage. Well, since we no longer have electricity, I have invented a catapult, powered by guinea pig. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> and what do you want, Odd One? The age of science is over, and the age of magic has begun. I am the ancient wizard, Merklin, and close to your castle, Darkstorm, is my shrine, high atop Iron Mountain. It is filled with magic of every description. Nonsense! There is no such thing as magic! And you take your cheap carnival bauble with you. Done. A magical shrine? <laughs> but surely that's ridiculous. Ridiculous, but true. Why have you come to us, old one? I seek brave knights, men and women of vision. I wish to teach them the ways of magic. Maybe there is a magical shrine. Uh, yes, Ektar, perhaps there is. I think this bears looking into. Let us make preparations. <laughs> open the window! Somebody open the window! Oh, oh, my great Lord Darkstorm. Tread carefully, they're shattered glass. Enough, Mordred! What word do you bring? Leoric? Leoric is even more of a fool than we thought. He has decided to quest for the shrine. Imagine, he believes in magic! <laughs> Enough! We can't let Leoric gain the advantage. We too must join this quest for magic. Recon, help Mordred on his way. With pleasure. <laughs> Mordred! When you have cleaned yourself up, ready the chariot. We leave tomorrow. <laughs> yes, your worthy highness. Attend me, knights of Prismos. And hear my challenge. All who can ascend the mountain, survive the many traps set before you, and reach my shrine, shall be rewarded with magic more powerful than your wildest dreams. This is my solemn promise. Onward to the shrine! I don't like the sound of that. There's got to be a better route. Let's go back. No, never go back. Nothing's worse than retreat. Besides, if I don't make it, I'll never know what hit me. He made it. Yes. And now you must try. For those who succeed, the rewards are very great. I... I have no interest in playing your game any longer. So be it. Perhaps we should relieve those behind us of the burden of following? <laughs> Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. This is a time when those who control the magic control destiny. Spectral light battle evil darkling lords. Knights of the magical light. Visionaries with magical powers they fight. Visionaries. That are a false force. Quick, warn the spectral light. It's the darkling lords. Catch your chariot to the rescue. Visionaries. Visionaries from Hasbro. You've taught your children to be polite and friendly, but have you taught them when not to be? Hi there. Do you live around here? Uh-huh. You going to school? Yes. 
Well, uh, I, I could give you a ride. Last year, 50,000 children disappeared, many of them from nice, safe neighborhoods. It's okay. Come on, help me. Talk to your children about not talking to strangers and do it today. A message for your child's safety from the American Medical Association. Super GoBots, the mightiest GoBots of all. Stacks leader one inside, kill so separately. Think you're big enough for the king of the road? Try me. Mighty GoBots, mighty vehicles, GoBots. Two big stacks. Not so fast, Psycho. Thanks, good buddy. Super GoBots, stacks leader one inside, kill each so separately from Tonka. That should take care of them. <laughs> you seem to have a problem, Cliff Dweller. It is not a problem. It is a cleverly disguised opportunity. Where there's hope, there is always a way. Shoot him down! But I, I, I lack a bow, fair master. You displease me, Mordred. You're right, master. I'll get a bow as soon as we return to the castle. You know, I was thinking that since we're rebuilding New Valaric, we might have room for a jousting arena near the market square. A good idea. Though I fear some of the citizens would rather have a botanical garden. Botanical garden? <laughs> you must be joking. I hear voices. Somebody has found a shortcut. Mordred, do something treacherous that I may put those knights behind me. Help me! Help me! What's that? Help Come on! Help me! My friends, I think we've been deceived. Mordred? Why don't you speak? Is your tongue sore today from licking your master's boots? Stick it out. Let me see. Savor my sigh, Victor! Mordred! You've done your job! Get over here! Immediately, master. How can that sycophant call himself a knight? Well, look at it this way. He was clever enough to delay us. You have a point. Yes, let's go! Sounds. Look at the size of that. Come, we'll try to sneak past. Yes, try that, Leori. <laughs> what do we do? Prepare for the end. Show a little faith. He's crazy. Defend thyself! I can't believe that worked. I reasoned that he'd never been attacked and wouldn't know what to do. I never would have thought of that. Where are you, Mortred? I don't know. You are useless. I know, Master. Well, what a beautiful exhibit. This must be the art gallery. Where are you, Mortred? Mortred, where?
Ah, I should be able to trade these for a bit of hard cash. I should have thought our last meeting would have deterred you, Cinder. Nothing deters me. Most uncomfortable nights. What nasty traps. Get us down from here! I could, but to do so would require considerable effort on my part, which I could only do for my loyal subjects. Therefore, if you desire me to carry out this deed, you must swear loyalty to me. It would be an honor to serve with the infamous Darkstorm. You got good food in your castle? The best. Then I'm in... You leave me little choice. So rule me well, or suffer the consequences. Blast you, Darkstorm! Cut me down! Excellent. Worthy subjects, I shall extract you. Oh, we could wind around in here forever. <laughs> Smell that? Fresh air, I think. <laughs> yes, this way. Aoric? I swear I've never met a character with a nose like Feral's. You know, I've been thinking, what about a jousting arena and a botanical garden? Hmm, I don't know. Do you think there will be room for both? Hold. Where did Ektar go? Ektar? Ektar, where are you? Leoric! Darkstorm and his foul knights wait in ambush! Attack! Yeah! Lords. I like the ring of that. Looks like a party. Good, let's join in. Cease fighting, you fools! There is magic enough for everyone. Now all you need to do is break the door down and enter the shrine. Cryotech. Why don't you vent your aggressions on the offending slab of wood? Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. It is a time when those who control the magic control destiny. When Spectral Knights battle evil darkly. Knights of the Magical something out there, something you can't escape, and it's rocketing right toward you, Space Hulk, the Gobot Interceptor. Convert to Starship Crasher, we're going hunting. Guardian and Renegade attack ships with star-shattering power. Renegade Space Hulk in the viewfinder, a pair of stun guns. Guardians, I have to hide this from you. You can run, Psycho, but you can't hide. Fire! Space Hulk and Gobot each own separately from Tonka. <laughs> Look. Congratulations, noble knights. You have survived the final test. You, and you alone, have the vision to reach the shrine. 
You are the visionaries, and I deem you worthy now to receive my magic, magic that will help you and your people prosper in this new age. Merklin, what do you want from us in exchange for your magic? Occasional tasks. What sort of tasks? You will learn in due time. Now, let me present you the magical totems that each of you has earned. Arthon, when it was necessary to fly, you found wings. For that, you shall receive the totem of the eagle. I knew this would all be worth it. Sindar, for your climbing ability and brute strength, I give you the gorilla totem. With a quick, for your blinding speed and dexterity, I grant you the totem of the fastest animal in creation, the cheetah. Krebex, for your deed, you shall earn the totem of the only airborne scavenger on Prismos, the Phylot. And you, Ektar, for sensing the ambush, shall receive the totem of the fox. Mortred, for bootlicking above and beyond the call of duty, I give you the scampering beetle. I am offended. Stifle thyself. <laughs> forgive me, Master, forgive me. <laughs> <clears throat> Shall we continue? Feral, for your amazing tracking skills, you will wear the totem of the wolf. And you, Viralina, displayed a killing instinct underwater that is matched only by that of the shark. Thus, it shall be your totem. Galadria, no animal evinces greater intelligence under the ocean than the dolphin. Thus, it is fitting that you shall have its totem. And Lexor, for turning cowardice into a defensive art, I grant you the totem of the armadillo. Be assured it was not cowardice! Silence before I bash you! There is no need to shout. <laughs> Cryotech! For your incredible strength and endurance, you shall wear the totem of the bear. Recon, for your stealth and treachery, you shall bear the totem of the lizard. Laoric, for raw courage and leadership, you shall wear the totem of the lion. <laughs> It's all right. I was merely testing. And Darkstorm, for your incomparable climbing skill and general sliminess, you shall receive the totem of the mollusk. These animals are the magical representation of your true inner beings. When you need them most, you will become them. But remember, they are like emotions, powerful, yet sometimes uncontrollable. You mean, we fought our way into the shrine for magic we can't control? Get it through your dull brain that I have no intention of cheating you. Now, dip your staffs into the pool and you will see a wondrous transformation. What about those of us who have no staff? You will discover in time that you also have great powers. Now, raise your staffs. Each has been charged with a special power. Wisdom, light speed, knowledge, strength, decay, destruction, fear, and invulnerability. However, each time your power staffs are used, they will grow weaker. Thus, you will have to come here to recharge them with more magical powers. Now, if you'll excuse me... Wait! That's it? We just walked out? No, as a matter of fact, I have an exit method that I think you will especially appreciate. Oh, <laughs> 
That is my stuff. Put it down before I am forced to teach you a nasty lesson in manners. You have no staff, reptile. You would be a fool across me again. Thank you, Sir Knight. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him that a good tap on the prat won't take care of. All knights pledge to me! Cease fighting! I propose that magic shall only be used to preserve peace on Prismos. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Nor can I, but... I second your proposal. May the age of peace last forever. Forever! We're not really gonna honor that treaty, are we? Of course not. And Leoric knows it. But he is bound to honor his commitments. I am not. <laughs> it is so much easier to be evil. a fair maiden indeed. May I? <clears throat> oh, never before have I met such a strong knight. I assure you, madam, it was but a petty feat. What is that? My power staff. It is charged with great magic. <laughs> you do have a fanciful imagination. I will prove it to you. A whim, thought, and more is sought. Wake my mind, thy will be wrought. Address me as bearer of knowledge. Very well, bearer of knowledge. Tell me all you know of this fair maiden. The young woman is the evil knight, Virolina. That's absurd. <laughs> Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Through the magic to control destiny, where spectral knights battle evil darkling lords. Knights of the magical light. The magical they fight. It's coming with an amazing holographic world erupting in furious battle as the visionaries fight for the power of the magical light. Coming soon from the makers of Transformers. They're from Gobatron. Eight new Gobots, each sold separately. You can pretend Smallfoot, Night Ranger, and Dive Dive join the fearless Leader One to save the Earth from Psykill's enemy Gobots. Blockhead, Water Walk, Fly Trap, Slicks, and Spoons. It's gonna be awesome! Mighty Gobots, Mighty Vehicles, Gobots! Dive Dive, Water Walk, and Night Ranger, each sold separately. New from Tonka. Stay right there, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming up next. Ah, oh, energy. Sometimes I think I'm running out of energy. Seems like we use an awful lot for heating and lighting and driving. Reading and writing and jiving. Energy. 
You'd think we'd be saving it up Energy You can get it by damming up a river Energy A windmill can make the breeze deliver But even with milling and damming Our needs are so much more demanding For energy We have to use some kind of fuel Chop, chop, chop The cavemen use wood to stop the fires Chop, chop Chop. They made all the tools that they require Chop, chop, chop Inventions got more and more inspired The fires got higher and higher And clearings got wider and wider Energy They were burning about all their wood up Then one day Men discovered that coal would do it better Miners dug And it looked like it might just last forever. It seemed like the final solution. It started the industrial revolution. Energy, we could just keep on digging it up. Now in 1859, way out in western Pennsylvania, a man had built a rig that got some laughs from folks who came in. But suddenly a mighty roar came up from under the ground. Soon a gush of gushing oil soaked all who stood around. Now no one knew when that gush of blue, the petroleum years were on us, or that so many cars and trucks would come to cause a crisis. Energy. We're looking to try and find some new kinds. Energy. Exploring to try and make a new find. Nuclear and thermal and solar. If we miss, we'll get colder and colder. Energy. We gotta stop using you up So don't be cross When mama says turn that extra light out Just turn it off Till we find us a fuel that never runs out If everyone tries a bit harder Fuel will go farther and farther In a jeep We're gonna be stretching you out Within the Big Sur National Forest, scientists today are transporting what many believe to be the skeleton of a long-extinct dinosaur, miraculously preserved in an amber monolith. With me is Dr. Herman Armstrong. Herc. Excuse me, Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps, a government-funded research team dedicated to investigating mysterious events under the Earth's surface. Would you comment on rumors that the monolith was emitting a strange sound and glowing when it was discovered by a pair of campers? And that the trees seem to be <clears throat> speaking? I'm sure there's a rational explanation for... What's that? Oh, no! Look out! Get back! This is Barbara Walker signing off from Big Sur, where mysterious events are definitely taking place. Well, we're down one mile, Mr. Shore. Take the drill down two miles. Uh, but there, uh, there's nothing down that far. Yes, there is. Okay, you're the boss. Take her down! Two miles! Whatever you say!
ancient documents were right. Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Decompose Trap's Liquidator, but the mighty Granite's friends of the Earth Core attack the evil and humanoid, forcing him back into the Earth. Inhumanoids, inhumanoids, the evil that lies within. <laughs> Your friends can't help you now. But the leader of the Granite's can. Grandma, the evil ways are over. <laughs> Escape from the Terror Scout. Thanks, Grandma. Granok, other figures and vehicles sold separately from Hasbro. Inhumanoids. <laughs> You know, it's hard work keeping in shape, but it's important to me to be the best that I can be and look the best that I can look. I don't go through all this to impress other people. I do it because I care about me. I care about my body and my health, but most importantly, I care about feeling good about myself. That's why I would never, ever take illegal drugs. And let's face it, what goes in your body eventually shows up on the outside. The bottom line is stay away from drugs, but do it because you care about yourself. And let me introduce a woman who needs no introduction. A woman whose contributions to our beautiful city of San Francisco are too numerous to mention. Sandra Shaw, benefactor of the Shaw Museum. Thank you. Before unveiling this incredible find, let me introduce the brave members of the Earth Corps who will be studying this strange phenomenon. First, Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps. Next in is Dr. Derek Bright, designer of the Earth Corps Advanced Technology. And next to Dr. Bright, Augur, distinguished archaeologist and the man responsible for constructing the Earth Corps' specialized suits and vehicles. And finally, Jonathan M. Slattery, better known as Liquidator, master of chemistry, spelunking, and sundry arcane sciences. What do you think she's doing after the party? I find it very unlikely she'd be seen with you. Obviously, she's a woman of refinement. Now, without further ado, let us unveil the most significant archaeological discovery of the century. Tremors, that thing must weigh about 70 tons. I'll run the bio test. According to this, the monster's cold blooded, maybe cryogenic. And it's like a vine. I need a tissue sample. Leave that to me. Auger, don't you? Well, I'm gonna check out that thing in the amber block. Thank <laughs> you. 
communicate with the other. So, what were you and the lady doing in there? Listen, Auger, you want a romantic advice? Buy a book. I don't believe it. They're gone. And after the Inferno, the monster simply vanished, leaving behind more questions than answers. Were they from outer space? Mutations caused by toxic waste? Or were they a mass illusion created by the stress of modern living? Right. Is this part of the weapon or just a doodle? Amazing. The tissue sample is growing at an incredible rate. Earth to Dr. Bright. Hmm? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a doodle, I think. File it. I'll file it. Hey, look at this, guys. <laughs> 12th century. Looks like our buddy from last night's been around uh -huh. for a while, huh? Is that so? Okay, just thought you might be interested. These things most likely come from the center of the Earth, General. But we have no evidence that they're extraterrestrials. 
We think it came from the center of the Earth. What do you mean, tell it to the Global Inquirer? Well, it looks like we're on our own, guys. Good, I hate red tape. So, where should we start looking for the creatures? The way I figure it, they must have escaped into the bay. Let's take the sub and start our search right here. Augur, the answer lies in the forest. Remember the vibes? Vibes? Let's be a little more professional, Liquidator. Well, then let's hear your theory. All right. An oil worker reported seeing the tendril monster come out of the drilling shaft. That shaft will undoubtedly lead us to the bottom of this mystery. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement, as usual. Augur, I'll accompany you. Bright, check out the shaft. <sighs> nothing. Eh, nothing at all. Come on! Communicate with me! There's no reason we can't be friends! I mean you no harm! You shall never violate this forest again. Fifty feet. Walls are covered with strange markings. I'm going deeper. <clears throat> Below is... Uh, amazing. A chamber. It appears to be a cell. I suspect that the tendril monster was imprisoned here. Judging by the path of destruction, the creatures would have entered the water near the Golden Gate and... Headed just about anywhere. Yeah, that about sums it up. Look, an old B-29. Probably crashed during World War II. But the fuselage looks like somebody stepped on it. Look, a footprint. There's another. Let's hope we find the monsters before they find us. Look out! <laughs> Tuna fish. They aren't our problem today, Augur. I'm taking us up! <sighs> Sorry. I guess that old Rex sort of spooked me. No doubt about it. The monsters couldn't have found a better place to hide. Yes, they could. Hold on to your seat. We're going in. You sure this is a good idea? I'm getting a depth reading of two miles. We must be in a lava tube. A doorway to the center of the Earth. Full throttle! It's no use! It's got us! And it's crushing us like a tin can! Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. The deadly inhumanoid tendril lashes out, and the forest comes alive as the Redwoods help their scientist friends. Nasty Redwoods! Inhumanoids! Inhumanoids! The evil that lies within us! I can't hold much longer! Where's Redland? Here's Redland! Nasty Redwood! Let him go, tendril! I'll get you next time! Way to go, Redland! Redland and other figures sold separately from Hasbro. Inhumanoids! Spike and friends, shine a light on the wire transform reflected batches. Okay. The Transformers are in disguise. In the Transformers prizes in disguise game, everyone's a winner. I got a free reflective patch. Superior. Omega Supreme. And eight more. And your patch may disguise an instant prize, like a party with life-size Transformers or electronic voice changers. <laughs> Or Transformer action cards. Get Transformer reflective patches and game details free in specially marked packages from Hasbro. Crushing us like a tin can! Put on your helmet! I'm blowing the pressure bolts! Use my concussion! 
concussion for the... strange markings. Ah! Ah! He splattered poison into Mr. Shaw. They'll need a spatula for him. That's a terrible tragedy. Trigger the cave-in. Then nobody can prove anything. Environmental suits. You never should have touched the amber. Hey, look, we didn't know what we were doing. Humans seldom do. We'll give it back. Really? We, we don't want it. One should not steal what one does not want. Look, look, you're right. I couldn't agree with you more. From now on, I won't take so much as a pine cone from this forest. You are a curious being. Oh, I should have gone for a joyride in the sub with Herc and Auger. Your aura is good. Your thoughts are pure. Let us show you the horror you have returned to the world. Long ago, a terrible war between the Mutors and the evil Inhumanoids raged far below. The Inhumanoid, Metlar, tyrant from the core. Decompose the undead horror. And Tendril, Ravager of the Earth's Mantle, set out to crush the Mutors. We, the mighty Redwoods, along with the peaceful Granites, and our magnetic ally, MagnaCore, fought an impossible war against impossible odds. Though our losses were great, we defeated them and drove them into submission. The monster Tendril was sealed into a stone chamber where he stayed until humans released him. Decompose was paralyzed by the sunlight and toppled into an amber pit. And the tyrant Metlar was trapped in MagnaCore's magnetic field. He is still confined, but I fear the others will release him. If that should happen, the world will never know peace. Don't worry. I... I promise you, we will stop them. You talking to me? Huh? No, I, I was talking to, uh... You ought to get out of the sun, pal. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. I tell you, there's one born every minute. And I am telling you, the trees were talking. You know, Liquidator's story jibes very well with my own. When I was investigating the drilling shaft, I discovered a deep chamber which might well be this tendril's prison. Then we must stop the Inhumanoids before they can release Metlar. Otherwise... In the deck! Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Centurion! Power Extreme! And Machine! Three evil dock terror and straight for attack. Max Ray calls depth charger. Energize. Torpedo. Thrusters. Canopy down. Dive. The villains trap Max. Energize. Mode 2. Hydromine. Missiles. Speed struts. Attack. Centurion! Power Extreme! Man Machine! Depth Charger comes as shown. Figure sold separately. New from Kenner. You can't take people for granted. You can be with somebody every day and never really know them. So don't treat people like furniture. Don't treat a teammate like he's invisible. Because everybody is important on a real team. Take the time to find out what people are about. And you will be glad you did. Listen to a friend, Mr. T. Stay right there, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming up next. As your body grows bigger, your mind must flower. It's great to learn, cause knowledge is power. It's Schoolhouse Rocky, the tip of the block of your favorite schoolhouse, schoolhouse rock. You've been waiting for Conjunction Junction. Junction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I got three favorite cards that get most of my job done. Conjunction, junction, what's their function? I got and, button, or, they'll get you pretty far. And, that's an additive, like this and that. But, Sort of the opposite, not this, but that. And then there's or, O R. When you have a choice like this or that, and but no, get you pretty far. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two box cars, making them run right. Milk and honey, bread and butter, peas and rice. Hey, that's nice. Dirty but happy, digging and scratching, losing your shoe and a button or two. He's poor but honest, sad but true. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up two cars to one when you say something like this. Choice, either now or later, or no choice. Neither now nor ever. Hey, that's clever. Eat this or that, grow thin or fat. Never mind, I wouldn't do that. I'm fat enough now. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up phrases and clauses that balance like out of the frying pan and into the fire. He cut loose the sandbags, but the balloon wouldn't go any higher. Let's go up to the mountains or down. 
down to the seas, you should always say thank you or at least say please. What's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses in complex sentences like In the mornings when I'm usually wide awake I love to take a walk through the gardens and down by the lake Where I often see a duck and a drake And I wonder as I walk by just what they'd say if they could speak Although I know that's an absurd thought Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up cars and making them function. Conjunction, junction, how's that function? I like tying up words and phrases and clauses. Conjunction, junction, watch that function. I'm gonna get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there if you're very careful. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I'm going to get you there if you're very careful. In the far reaches of the universe is the star planet Symbion, a perfect world until their biological experiments exploded. Creating an exotic realm beyond all belief. As mutant life forms ravaged their global paradise, a new and incredible species emerged. The Sectars. With Prince Dargon leading his warriors of the Shining Realm against the evil General Phydrax. He would destroy all to rule all. His terror troops of the Dark Domain know no mercy. hives of Symbion hold the powers to rule the planet. The evil Spydrax knows the map to one of those hives is here in the Shining Realm. Part one of Spydrax's vicious plan for conquest is about to begin. Spydrax! Spydrax is attacking!
Darkness of the burning realm. Darkon. You take care of the guards. I'll take the map. Secrets of the Grey Hive will never belong to the Dark Domain. You're wrong, Mantor! The map is the key! <laughs> Regroup for attack! Dargon, it's almost night. They can see in the dark. We can't. But you did good, young prince. There's plenty of time to cut Spydrax down to size. Look on the bright side. We made those maggots turn tail and run. Hmm. Did we? You bet we did. Now, let's go finish them off. Prince Dargon, my name is Secor. I want to join your fight against Spydrax. <laughs> I like your guts, kid. Great! When do we attack Spydrax? After you go home. Come back in a few years. But... It's too dangerous. Mantor. Don't touch him. He's covered with venom. Get back. This wretched powder is worse than the poison. Up you go. Skeeto got my map to the ancient hive. The hive? If Spydrax gets to the hive, the secrets of the ancients will be his. If that happens, the Shining Realm will die. And all of Symbion will be under his evil rule. Dargon, wait. Without a plan, you are doomed. I'm going to stop Spydrax. Me too. You again? You need me. No, we don't. Go home. But I'm telebonded to the highest flying insectoid in the realm. Come on, Zack. I'll show them. Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages.
the battle of the sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil sectors. With the help of his loyal insectoid Dragonflyer, he fights them off. But they're just bait for the real trap. A far more treacherous enemy is waiting. The evil General Spytrax. Will Heroic Dargon be caught in his web? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The battle of the Sectors continues. Evil General Spydrax ambushes Heroic Dargon and drags him off. While their insectoids clash, Dargon bakes in the blistering heat of Symbion's twin sons. Near death, Dargon summons all of his remaining strength to send an urgent signal to his telebonded insectoid. But is it too late for Dargon? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Dargon, near death, is rescued by Dragonflyer, who carries the weakened hero to his loyal friend, Pinsor. But General Spydrax and his evil armies are attacking. Dragonflyer leaves Dargon to regain his strength and flies into battle. But Dargon is discovered. Is this the end for Dargon? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Skulk, Spydrak's evil henchman, has Dargon at his mercy. But suddenly, Dargon awakes. He flips Skulk to the ground, knocking him unconscious, and rushes off to help his friend. But he arrives too late. Pinsor is being carried off by Spiderflyer. Will Dargon ever see his loyal friend again? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. We now return to Sectors. Take him! Buzz off, creep! Ah! Hold the fly! Get out! Don't let him get away! You've got to make it off the fly. You've got to. <laughs> Mantor's research is perfect. His map will lead us to the ancient hive. <laughs> and with the secrets from the great hive, we will destroy the shining realm. And the Prince Dargon. We owe Mantor a toast to Mantor and his map. <laughs> Move it! And get your claws off of me! Zargon mm, must be close. Double the guard. I have a plan. If I know Spyrax, he's brought the map here to his fortress. Then all we have to do is finish him. Let's go. Spydrax and his Nightcrawlers are in there, too. I'll take out the Nightcrawlers. Spydrax is mine. Spytar, stick him! Look who's here! You are saving us the trouble of killing you later. I've got your little friend, Secor, locked up nice and tight. Secor, hurt that boy and I'll... Get out! 
heads after I get to the hive. Secor and stop Spygrax from getting to the ancient hive. Maybe we can stop him. How? Spygrax has your map. Yes, but I know the map. We can follow him. We have to cross the lake of blood. Sounds like fun. No one has ever returned from the lake of blood. Right here, we'll be back after these messages. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Pinsor has been captured by evil General Spydrax, who orders Spider Flyer to drop Pinsor to his death. Meanwhile, Battle Beetle has been following Pinsor's telebonded signals and arrives just in time. But the woods are crawling with the evil Sectors. Can Pinsor escape from this deadly assault? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Royal Pinsor is hopelessly outnumbered by the forces of evil. The deadly skulk and his vile war beast Trancula. Skeeto with venom squirting toxin. And the ruthless Commander Waspax with his insectoid winged. The evil sectors move in for the kill. Will Pinsor ever see the light of the Shining Realm again? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Pinsor valiantly battles the evil sectors. Meanwhile, Dargon's forces study their battle plan for an all-out assault on the forces of evil. But unknown to Dargon, a spy has slipped into his camp, the evil General Spydrax himself. Will Spydrax discover Dargon's plans? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. 
The Battle of the Sectors continues. Gargon's warriors prepare for battle. Zack with his iron-jawed war beast, Vitor. Mantor, expert of the martial arts, with his cliff-climbing insectoid, Raplor. Meanwhile, evil spy Drax studies every detail of their battle plans. Will the spying spy Drax win the Battle of the Sectors? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Spydrax memorizes Dargon's battle plan. Meanwhile, Pinsor has been captured by the evil Sectors and is sealed in the Cavern of Doom forever. When suddenly, Night Fighting Dargon appears with his glow-in-the-dark insectoid parafly. Dargon sees their evil through his trinoculars, but can he save his friend? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Now return to Sectors. A web castle. The Sectors must be there. This will keep me from sticking to the web. side of the forest. This will help him. We are going to surprise Spydrax. We're going to surprise Spydrax with a giant worm? Not exactly. That's a tunnel worm. He is going to help us surprise Spydrax. Move northwest. Move it, worm. Let's go. We must be under Spydrax camp by now.
keep Spydrax from using my map to get to the hive of the ancients. Well, at least we don't have far to go. Look up there. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. Hey, you two. It's Weird Paul. Hi there. Um, this is Paul. Today, I am coming to you live from my parents' house because it's the 30th anniversary of my McDonald's Breakfast Review. And we just went to McDonald's and got a McDonald's breakfast, okay? In 1984, when I filmed my McDonald's breakfast review, a McDonald's breakfast cost $1.15. Now, it costs $3.39. And this is what it looks like. Yum! Yum! Now, I ate a lot of it already, but there's still some left here. I think I'll show you what everything is, okay? Okay. Now, this right here. Okay. <laughs> This is a scrambly. That's pretty good. Though. Well, either this was better in 1984, or I was just easier to please. Now these are, this here, these are English muffins. One of the things that's changed about the McDonald's breakfast is you no longer get an English muffin. Now there's a buttermilk biscuit. La di dee, la di dee. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Even with the butter, this is pretty dry. I think I preferred the English muffins. Well, this is sausage. I see. I see. You can see. I've eaten a lot of it already, but but this is a whole bunch of bird turd to pick up and put together and fry. It. But it's not too bad. To they add sugar so. Well, the breakfast still comes with the sausage. I guess there's no lack of bird turd in the world, but I don't think they add sugar anymore. Last I say this, I didn't even take a bite because I wanted to save it for be able to show it. My hash brown. And I'll get some telephoto on here so that you'll be able to get a real good look at it. Well, I suppose we should get some telephoto on it. See? McDonald's. See? McDonald's. And that's what they look like. It appears to be a bit smaller than it used to be, and a lot soggier. You know what? This is a piece of big crap, right? Okay, you're all waiting for me to say it again. You know what this is? It's a piece of big crap, right? There's a very greasy Ronald McDonald on the back. I'm taking my first bite of my hash brown. Mmm, good. Mmm, good! I think this was, and still is, my favorite part of the breakfast. That was like my breakfast, like, okay, and... That was like my breakfast, like, okay. I'm pretty sure the McDonald's will still be around 30 years from now. So in 2044, if YouTube still exists, and if I'm still around, maybe I'll do another McDonald's breakfast review. I hope you enjoyed the 30th anniversary of my McDonald's breakfast review. Thanks, YouTube. Thank you. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Sawboss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you.
stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. You can make the good guys better. Trailblazer, you can make the bad guys better. Be water. Wheel. Warriors. Quick change and fighting machine. Arm force. I'll disarm you. Quick second attack. You can check, 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 wheel. Warriors! East Walker Trailblazer and Arm Force each sold separately. Batteries not included, some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Don't pout, check it out. That's gonna show you what work's about. Listen up, children, if you wanna know what tomorrow will bring and where you will go. Gotta find your dreams and goals. Time to pick your schemes and roll. Make a choice, Jack. Can't lie on your back all day. You can be what you want, it becomes very clear When you believe in yourself and take time to prepare Let's think about a career, we can both be an engineer Or learn about the atmosphere Oh, here's the road, Zach, they've got the knack, it's clear They're on the right track to a career You can make the good guys better Bad guys approaching. Quick, stack and attack. You can stack, 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 and attack, stack, 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 with wheel warriors. Wheel warriors vehicles each sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. onto our wall of light. It's powered by the sun, and they're blocking it. It can't survive much longer. Then please, hurry with the vehicles. We have to be ready when Father finally comes to lead us out of here. We might have to leave before that, Jace. No! Flora, any sign of Father? Don't you think I'd tell you? All right, I won't be nasty, but I wish Jace wouldn't treat me like I was a nerd. Boom! Boom! He's coming! Boom's coming! I can feel it! Then Father must be coming, too. I told you, Gillian. No, I don't feel Audric coming. You're wrong, Flora! Oon would never desert his master. He has to be coming. <laughs> Finally! Chase must be in there! Master Chase, it's wonderful to see you again. 
Oh, but where's my father? I'll tell you the whole story. Meanwhile, could you put me back together again, please? Scour the area. He's not out here. He must be in there. It was awful. <laughs> Where can I begin? Boom! <laughs> Crash! They broke through the walls. But before that, your father almost had it figured out. Now, Oom, uh, merely think about what has happened. My master, Audric, tried to create a plant that would end starvation forever. He found the perfect spot for his experiment in another galaxy. But just as he succeeded... and changed his discovery into plants with evil brains. Sawboss has taken over my laboratory. destroy those evil ones. Get the route to Jace, he said. He's your new master. Serve him faithfully. He'll know what to do. You must find your father. The route he carries must be joined with this one. And the future of the universe depends on this. And on me. How will I do it? Come. there was a small band of heroes who guided us to victory in desperate times. They were called the Lightning League. Their leader wore this ring. It is time for the knowledge of the past to save the future. The Lightning League is now reborn. With you, Jace, son of Audric as its leader. Me? Wear the ring of leadership. It has more power than you can imagine. But only if your heart and purpose are pure. Gillian, it's glowing. It's as though it's telling me that I will be able to lead us. Wherever you are, Father, I will find you. Nothing will stop me. And I shall serve my new master faithfully. Me and my magic lance. Thank you, Oom. If only the lamps really were a magic. I heard that. Come on, you two. We're all in this together. Okay. I'm sorry, Oom. He has to be here. Impossible. We lost him. Fool. He has to be somewhere. Sawtrooper, scan the area. Yes, saw boss. I'm doing it, saw boss. Stop! That must be where he is. Get that root, destroy it, and everything else. With pleasure, saw boss. And now, one more thing, Jace. This vehicle, armed force, I made for your father. Learn to use it well. It's yours now. Mine. Armed force is mine. Me so 
so much, Flora. Tell them to quit getting in my way. Uh, uh, they're coming. The monster mines. Master! They're coming for the root, Jace. They'll never get it. Armed Force and I will turn them back. With me at your side. Get them, Jace. Get them. We'll win, won't we, Jace? Of course we'll win. Uh, show me how to work the laser on this thing. None of the weapon systems are finished yet, Jace. Oh, no! Then that means we're finished off! Lasers or no lasers, they're not taking us without a fight. Jace, it is wise never to fight unless it is necessary. But, but we have to stop the monster mines. Watch. Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. And you think somebody gonna hand you something for nothing? You're wrong too. Heaven talent is just the beginning. It takes education, dedication, and determination to be a success. If you work real hard, you can become the best that you can be. And that's a promise from me, Mr. T. You can make the good guys better. Lightning League Battle Base. You put it together. Real warriors. Quick changing fighting machines. Enemy approaching. Prepare battle base. One for one. Loaded. Two. Loaded. Three. Loaded. You can stack a kick, 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 and a kick, 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 kick with real warriors. Quick changing fighting machines. Lightning League Battle Base. Vehicles each sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Hey, kid. Have a carrot. A carrot. Carrot sticks are, yes, indeed. They are delicious. If you must eat in between meals, why not eat nutritious dishes? Like fill a bowl with ice cubes and add raw cauliflower. Stuff celery with cheese and let it chill for half an hour. Add carrot sticks and olives and any other knickknacks. Then keep this by the TV set for when you want those quick snacks. Well? Well, but well, I'm waiting. Could you make me a banana? Okay, you're a banana. Evil viruses are attacking the world's computers, and the computer warriors have been generated to stop them. A soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank, forcing the computer warriors down. Hiding in a Pepsi can, the computer warriors fight back and deliver a direct hit. But the viruses keep coming, so the computer warriors convert a clock into a digital laser blaster and wipe out the virus air attack. Yeah! Computer Warriors. Expect the unexpected. Each sold separately. Computer and pencil sharpener available for 1990. Only from Mattel. You can make the good guys better. Arm force, roll them! You can make the bad guys badder. Stop them! Roll them into battle! We know we Warriors. We can the fighting machine. All vehicles in the Wheel Warriors collection are sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Watch out! Beast Walker is coming! Can Trailblazer stop him? The ultimate battle coming soon. The quest continues. They're going away! They were afraid of my magic lance. Nothing evil can penetrate our wall of light, but their vines shut out more and more of the sun, making the wall weaker. And soon it will be gone. Gillian, you can build or repair anything. And you know magic, too. We need something to get us safely out of here so I can find my father. So we can find his father. What we need is a space barge. Gillian, can you build one? Hmm. Not in the brief time before our wall of light is gone. However... It'll crash on the wall of light, Gillian. My wall only stops evil, Jace. It lets good enter. You just had to break down on me again, didn't you? Uh, sorry about plowing up your tomato patch, folks. 
But don't expect me to pay for it. Of course not. Good. I know I'm crazy for asking, but you wouldn't happen to have a spare thermal siphon diode, would you? Of course. Thanks. Well, uh, see you around. Take us with you. Oh, sure, kid. That's my business, moving anybody and anything. Thanks. Get on board. Gillian, start up the vehicles. Whoa, first the money. Perk Storm Sailor doesn't haul anybody or anything for free. Money? Where would we get money? <laughs> Sorry, kid. No cash, no hurt. Would uh, gold be acceptable? Herc Storm Sailor, captain of the pride of the skies, at your service. Gillian, where do we get gold? Shh. Gillian built that battle base to go with our five defensive vehicles. Watch what you're doing! Goodness, I was afraid you were hurt. Oh, that kid is real strange. I am not. I was created from a plant by Gillian and Audric. I understand plants and animals and even people. Sort of. Excuse me, but I have your gold on board. Is this enough, Mr. Storm Sailor? Please, uh, call me Herc. Where did you get that gold? From lead. Before long, it will change back to lead. I had to work fast. <laughs> uh, my old control bridge wasn't so darn complicated. Your ground here is too soft. We're just digging a hole instead of taking off. But the only hard ground is outside the wall of light. Which won't protect us much longer. The sun is getting lower and lower. I got it, kid. Hit the leeway thrusters. OK, you guys, hang on to your hats, because we're heading for the solid ground. to hold them off. Why us? Jace, by using the communicator on your wrist, you can control the vehicles with the voice command. All right. Armed force, let's go. Command, have knowledge. You can do it. I need some help. 
Lightning League vehicles, get out here! Command, I'm calling. Up in the air! Command acknowledged. And down! Master! We did it! We stopped them! Yeah, but we're still stuck in this ditch! Drill Sergeant, defend me! What's wrong with that machine? Now get back to the ship. Oon, take her back before she gets hurt. I have to keep fighting. M -m me master? Hurry. <clears throat> Won't this help us rise? <laughs> At this time. No, wait! My master is still out there! Yeah, well, you want to go get him? Yes, I'll save him! But all the doors are closed! Pilot on. Now, I kind of like to look at my gold. <laughs> oh, isn't that the prettiest sight in the universe? <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? This is Lid. Uh, sorry, I had a little problem. Uh, but don't worry, you'll be paid. That's a promise, Herc. You're darn right, because I'm sticking with you from now on until I get my loot. You're not shaking me for one second. We'll find you, Father, wherever you are. Because like that space lightning, we're unstoppable. We're the Lightning League. And together we'll destroy the Monster Minds forever.
Stay right there. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming up next. They say our solar system is centered round the sun. Nine planets large and small parading To the sun, it's a lot of fun. It's a hot spot, it's a gas. Hydrogen and helium in a big, bright, glowing mass. It's a star. Exciting, kinda green and inviting So Janet thought she'd give it a go But the creatures on that planet Looked so very weird to Janet She didn't even dare to say hello It's a bird It's a plane Why it must be a UFO But it was interplanet Janet, she's a galaxy girl The solar system is from a future world She travels like a rocket with a comet team And there's never been a planet Janet has no, there's never been a planet Janet has unseen. Mars is red and Jupiter's big and Saturn shows off its rings. Uranus is built on a funny tilt and Neptune is its twin. And Pluto, little Pluto, is the farthest planet from our sun. They say our solar system is not alone in space. The universe has endless mystery Somebody seen a ghost? <laughs> All right. What? Hey, Peter, would you look at this? It's raining chocolate. Oh, I hope they have soft centers. Ouch! Ouch! Hey, oh, ouch! Ouch! ouch. ouch. Oh. 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 
There's a definite PKE source inside. Multiple entities. This could be more dangerous than it looks. This is a unique scientific opportunity here. Come on, let's go! Reminds me of a college party I went to once. <laughs> We have three class five full torso apparitions. Amazing! But what was our warped dimension do you think they came from? Possibly New Jersey. Hmm. Almost no intellect reading. Egon, Ray, excuse me, but could we move this gig along before all this chocolate makes me break out? Marvels! Why, I they dumb looking. <laughs> all right, you party animals, it's cleanup time. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, okay, we know you're in there. So come out with your claws up. <laughs> They're taking us serious. Okay, Winston. Then let them take this. Opening the trap now. They're in. We got them. All right. Check. The place is clean. Well, yes and no. It's all over, folks. We got them. Like taking candy from a ghoulie. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm the owner of this plant, and I can't thank you enough. True, true. But as a token of my appreciation, please accept this. A year's supply of my finest chocolates. Oh, yeah, how sweet it is. Hi, guys. Hi, Sandy. And how's the most beautiful secretary in the world? We brought you a little surprise. Uh, guys, how sweet. You're right. I am surprised. What is it? Guess she's allergic to chocolate. No, they're empty. Empty? empty. Except one. <laughs> I've been slimed. Yuck. Ah. Stand back, I'm gonna blast them. This time I'm really gonna... Whoa, Peter, take it easy. I'll discipline Slimer. For shame, Slimer. You've been a naughty ghosty. Naughty? Naughty? Come on, Ray, he's been a major pain. One more mess up Slimer in your history, got that? Oh, oh. oh we're gonna hit the seat. It's been a rough night. Oh, hold all our calls, Janine. Hey, piece of cake. It was a figure of speech, Slimer, okay? Yeah, be right there, guys. As soon as I dump these class fives into cold storage. Welcome to our 220 volt 10 megawatt ecto containment unit. Nighty night. Ah! <laughs> 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 
somebody. It's a mess, Pa. Now what are we gonna do, dear? <laughs> We're gonna run them gumheads right out of business. Right out of bu- uh, 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 But how, Pop? Watch! Sold separately from Kenner. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Do you any ghosts? Not yet. Pigment, it's back to the bone. Give me out. Looks like you're really into them, Stan. <laughs> safe. Not so safe. It's like Bucket. What a slob. I've been gooped. Activate the turtle blasters. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, bad to the bone and sludge bucket with ectoplasm, each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. Ghostbuster Bulletin. Ghosts are attacking the Statue of Liberty. Ghostbusters are at the sea. Look out, Ray. It's slime time. Each sold separately. We've been slime. Let's clean up, Lewis. Now we're fighting clean. Take this, you squirt. Slimed again. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's nasty neck. And don't bother to the rescue. Bombs away. Gotcha. And the Ghostbusters have saved the day. Attention all Ghostbusters. Be on the lookout for haunted humans. Wanted, Granny Gross. She's no sweet old lady. Wanted, Tombstone Tackle. He's no hero. Wanted, Ex-Cop. He's not on your side. To catch these ghosts, you need the real Ghostbusters. There's Peter. Egon, ah! Winston, ah! Ray, ah! each sold separately. They're running out fast. Ghostbusters! Spangler, this lab is spooky. Bankman, if I had it. They're full speed ahead! What an eyeful! Let's split! Great car! Yikes! It's a ah! launcher! The real Ghostbusters, each sold separately. Ghostbusters! Careful, Janine, this airport's haunted. Relax, Spangler, we're Wow, great plane! That's not a plane, it's air sickness! You look fit to be tied. Run for it! Safe, let's go home. Hey, mister, how about a lift? Yikes, it's wicked really! I must need new glasses. 
The real Ghostbusters, each sold separately, new from Kenner. Now, say, ah, oh. ah, 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 Everybody out! Let's go! Rare experience, Ghost Grabbers! We'll take it from here! Oh, it's you, Bob! Have no fear, Dr. Vinkman and his staff are here. Everything is under control. It sure is, thanks to these two wonderful people. Hey, we've got the ugly beast right in here. We're from Ghosts on Us. And you'll be hearing a lot more from us. Better luck next time, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, if it goes boo, we know what to do. No, ma'am. This is the real Ghostbusters, not Ghosts R Us. Never mind. Hey, who is Ghosts R Us anyway? I have a 20 calls for them today. Yeah, that's what we'd like to know. They're stealing all our customers. I can smell a bogus a mile away, and those guys are definitely bogus. Not according to my PKE meter, Peter. I got a solid reading from their containment unit. There was definitely a Class 5 Phantom in there. Ghostbusters, we're still number one. Mm-hmm. Right. Gotcha. All right, champs. Small Dwarf Hotel, major disturbance. Let's roll. This time, nobody beats the Ghostbusters. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Stand back, folks. Go home, Ghostbusters. This one's a wrap. Thanks to Ghost R Us. Who are you guys? Yeah, this was our call. We got the ghosts, ladies and gentlemen. No problem. How'd you get here before us? Because we're numero uno. Yeah, and you are though. You know, there's something very familiar about those guys. Something very ugly about them, too. Whoever they are, they're putting us right out of business. <laughs> Did you see those dumb Ghostbusters faces? Look like they'd seen a ghost. Uh, I hate this stupid can, Daddy. How much longer do, do we have to do this? One last time, Zonk. Then the Ghostbusters will be history. <laughs> Comb your hair! <laughs> Spook Central calling Ecto-1. Go ahead, Janine. There's something freaky going on here. What's wrong? This watchmajoodle says we're three ghosts short. That's impossible. Nothing can escape that system unless it's shut down. Hey, wait a minute. That's who those Ghosts R Us goons look like. The three Class Fives we nailed uh. this morning. You're right, Peter. Who could forget faces like that? But how did they escape? Oh, no. Somebody must have shut down the containment unit. Slimer? See, I knew I should have blasted him. Oh. Hold on, guys. Oh. We've got a call. Ghostbusters? Stay calm, sir. Help is on the way. Oh, good. The sooner the better. Yeah, the better the sooner the so uh, quickly. This one's a biggie, guys. An old toy factory in Brooklyn. But what about those escaped class fives? Knowing them, they're probably already there. Then let's go and spag those turkey. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Uh, a sub toy factory. This place is weird. Look who's talking. What are we doing here then, Pop? Lecking up an old friend, dear. Yeah, Turlock's in there. 
He's the Class 7 Phantom who haunts this dump. Class 7? Oh, but that's a lot. <laughs> but they're very powerful. Right. That's why Turlock's gonna make those Ghostbusters run for the next state. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, Turlock! It's me, Slug. Come on out! Come on, Turlock! We need you to do a first-rate haunting for us! Uh, that's great, Turlock, but we're not ready yet! Come on, Turlock, quit kidding around! Oh, wait a minute! Where's Turlock? He's gone... permanently. Uh, uh, and you... have disturbed me. Well, what do you know? For a change, we're actually the first ones here. Make that the second ones here. Would you believe the third one? That's at least a Class 8 free-roaming vapor. Worse, a full magnitude Class 10. Whatever it is, it's about to mash Manhattan in the cheese spread. Okay, boys, roundup time. Winston and I'll ride her. Ray, you and Egon head him off at the pass with Ecto-2. You got it! All systems check. Check. Switching on power. Ready for launch. All right. Let's kick some ectoplasm. All clear behind us. Prepare for launch. Launch! Hey, Egon. Ever gotten around to taking those flying lessons? No. Ah. Just checking. Can you move it? I said step on it. I'm not paying for this. from those class fives up ahead. Perhaps we can contain them there. Check. Ecto-1 to Ecto-2. Looks like our ghosts are headed for the river. But traffic's killing us. Hang on, Winston. I know a shortcut. Uh, Ecto-1, Ecto-2? <laughs> We're on our way. Roger. We'll block the far end of the bridge. This end. Nice touchdown, Egon. Psychic energy is increasing. We'll have visual contact in four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Trap open. Here they come. They're in! All by themselves! But it's not over yet. <sighs> Ecto-2 to Ecto-1. Uh, we're gonna require some assistance. 
This is bigger than anything we've ever encountered. And it sure looks mad. Hang on, guys. We're almost there. All this is because of Slimer. If he hadn't messed up, we'd be home in our jammies right now. Oh. I don't like that gleam in his eyes. Which eye? He has four. What hit me? Same thing that hit me. Quit! Aim for the monkey. What's it take to stop this guy? It's going after Ecto-2, and we can't stop it! All of this is because of Slimer. <laughs> if he hadn't messed up, we'd be home in our jammies right now. Slimer? Slimer, wait! No, Slimer! Don't do it! Jump Ray, I'm setting her on full power overload. Now! I suddenly want sushi. In five seconds, the power unit goes terminal. Slimer, I hate to say it, but... You look marvelous. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Not for everybody. Uh, uh, did we win yet, Pop? Uh, shut up. Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. The Frankenstein Dracula monsters. Get them, boys. Ghosts. Funny guy watching scream. The real Ghostbusters <laughs> each sold separately. Mr. T here, and I got a question for you. Have you ever wanted to believe in something, even though you knew it couldn't be true? Did you ever want to believe it so bad you didn't pay attention to what your common sense was telling you? Well, that's a good way to get into trouble. See, there's always going to be some real sad parts in life that's hard to accept. Lucky for my team, they're learning that wishing something was different won't make it so. They're learning the difference between things they can change and things they can't. That's one of life's toughest lessons. Take it from someone who's been there. Take it from me, Mr. T.
tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. Gonna have a three-ring circus someday. People will say it's a fine one, son. Gonna have a three-ring circus someday. People will come from miles around. Lions, tigers, acrobats, and jugglers, and clowns. Galore, tightrope, walkers, pony riders, elephants, and so much more. Guess I got the idea right here at school. Felt like a fool when they called my name. Divided in three like a circus Ring one, executive Two is legislative, that's Congress Ring three, judiciary See, it's kind of like my circus Circus Step right up and visit ring number one The show's just begun, meet the president I am here to see that the laws get done The ringmaster of the government On with the show! Hurry, hurry, hurry to ring number two See what they do in the Congress Passing laws and juggling bills Oh, it's quite a thrill in the Congress Focus your attention on ring number three the judiciary's in the spotlight The courts take the laws and they tame the crimes Balancing the wrongs with your rights No one part can be more powerful than any other is Each controls the other, you see And that's what we call checks and balances Well Everybody's act is part of the show And no one's job is more important The audience is kind of like the country you know Keeping an eye on their performance Ring one, executive Two is legislative, that's Congress Ring three, judicially See, it's kind of like my circus My circus gonna have Someday people will say it's a fine one, son. But until I get it, I'll do my thing with government. It's got three Maybe a nice trip to Carl's back. Hey, 
Carl's Bat Cavern. I could wing them up for reservations. A jungle holiday. A deep sea adventure. I can't decide. Cab's here. All right, all right. While I'm making my chilling choice, let's go someplace really scary. This week's terror tale. It's a little gem of ghastliness, I call. While the cat's away. Eleven Baja Sand Slice, the most extreme ultimate speed machine. Awesome. Better than awesome. Fierce. You think Dad would ever buy us one, Stu? Right, Dwight. And I've got seven ninjas in my back pocket. He could at least ask them. Heck, maybe he's in a good mood. <laughs> About this French cuisine is so rich yes you are very very <laughs> that is uh, <coughs> I mean uh, a person of your stature deserves the richest of everything mrs. Crumb <laughs> and this travel package is rather expensive well, you can't put a price on memories, Mrs. Crumb. I put a price on everything, Mr. Hancock. Uh, but, uh, Mrs. Crumb, I, I'm sure I can... Good day! Oh. Hey, Dad. How's business? Things get any slower, I'm going to ask you guys for an allowance. <sighs> Hancock travel. Uh, yes! We have many attractive packages. Uh, to... To Pennsylvania, yes. We, uh, to Transylvania? Well, well I'm, uh, I'm sure I can put some sort of package together, yes. Mm -hmm. m m m money's no object? <laughs> well, then, certainly. <laughs> First class all the way. I'll arrange everything. Uh, Mr. T. Charles King, 711 Woods Road. Later, Dad. Will that be... Oh, fine. He was getting in a good mood, Stu. Why didn't you ask him about the bike? Because we're going to get the bike compliments of T. Charles Kingman. Huh? Hey! Try and keep up with the program, little bro. Sure. Wait for me. <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. It's almost as simple as you are. He means rich, and he's leaving town. All we gotta do is sneak into his place, grab something valuable, and the sand slicer is ours. Vroom! Vroom! But, Stu... Hey, you ain't scared, are ya? Nah. It's just... well... that's... stealing! Picture if you will. The destructive power of the P-11 Baja sand slicer at your command. Hasta la vista, baby. When does Kingdom's Wayne leave? Kingman's gotta be gone by now. Are you sure this guy's a millionaire? Yeah, sure. The kind that don't waste money on house repairs. Come on. I don't like this, Stu. What if somebody's home? So we knock first.
getting up in here to trade in on a tricycle, Stu. You don't know that yet. Come on. I've read about crazy old guys like King Man. They live like they're poor, but when they die, someone finds millions of dollars stashed away in some hiding place. I can imagine what else is stashed around here. You and your imagination. Get off, dork! The guy in the painting, Stu! It, it moved like he was trying to kill me! I'm gonna kill you if you don't chill out, Dwight. You're afraid of your own shadow. And every time you get freaked out about something, you turn into a woodpecker. I can't help it! What is your problem? This place is haunted, Stu! Let's forget the bike and get out of here! Forget my P-11 sand slicer? I'd rather die. Don't say that, Stu. There's got to be something worth stealing. Start looking. For what? I don't know. All these libraries have secret panels that open up when you move a candle or something. secret hiding place. No, Stu, don't! I think I saw something moving in there! Get real, Dwight. What could be in... Stu! 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 Stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. Look no further. Rocks and buds and things are here in a never-ending battle for domination. Where Trapasaurus fights off evil beetle. While gravel guts and bloodstone confront the buzzing menace of wicked cricket. It's rocks versus bugs with mortals as a tasty prize. Where will the evil end? Can robots, soldiers, or heroes stop them? They're on the move and ready for action. Rocks and buds and things from Ideal. Now, in specially marked Ralston cereals, when you get a red Corvette... Mom! You win a real Corvette, and Ken can win! Get one hot racer free in every box of Freakies, Cookie Crisp, Honey Graham Jets, and Fruit Islands brand cereals, and if you get a red Corvette... <gasps> you win a real Corvette! Everyone gets a hot racer free, and ten lucky winners get... Happy birthday! Real Corvettes! So I Dad, uh, did you get Mom anything special? <laughs> Supernatural! Now you can join the battle between brave Lionheart and the evil Skull and their eerie ghostlings. Lion, you're dying! Now, Master! They change to fight with ghostly might. Turn them into the light and they change into even more powerful creatures. Now, the Lion in me is free! Take this! Ah! Supernaturals! Lionheart, Skull and Ghostling sold separately. New from Tonka. I get from mom. Get in a geyser! Boy! the heck 
heck out of me. Relax, Dwight. Our problems are over. I've got a map. X marks the spot. X as in exit? X as in treasure. We gotta head down those stairs. Uh-uh. Deal me out. Treasure, dude. Maybe enough for two dirt bikes. Vroom? Hasta la vista, baby. some real valuable to protect. Listen, Stu, maybe it's just me, but that sure looked like a <gasps> werewolf. There's no such thing as werewolves, Dwight. <laughs> and I owe you one, bro. Uh-oh.
stay right here. We'll be back after these messages. the most monstrous and gross if you love slime then it's about time for oozers it's slime time oozers oozing with fun try squeezing one they're oozers monstrous slime each sold separately this is rude ralph when I pull his eyeball, he can make four really gross noises. I brought him to school today. What a bark! That was totally disgusting. Thanks. From Axlon, Rude Ralph. You think Rude Ralph is disgusting? Yes, I do. Then take a whiff of this. Breath Blaster makes a horrible stink when you squeeze it. Death Breath, Dog Breath, and four other Breath Blasters from Axlon. What next? Getting in the drugs and being high is a stupid thing to do. So being in control and saying no is not the easiest thing to do. Be an original and take a stand to a free to say no. Don't let a friend put you in to taking drugs. You gotta right, yeah, yeah, to say no, no, right to say no. Baja sand slicer. I promise if I ever get out of this, I'll ride my crummy old bicycle until I'm 80. Even better, I'll walk till I'm 80. Vroom, 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 vroom. Phew. That's a relief. <laughs> Scare me. No more spitballs in history class. No more quarters in the arcade. I'll study 30 hours a day. Whoa!
It should be right around this corner. A dead end! The map says there's a way. and more gross creations so you too can be a mad scientist! Too gross. Wake up to the hot taste of Kellogg's Hot Tarts. So hot, they're cool, so cool, they're hot. Hot Tarts popping up and pop hot. Hot taste so cool inside, they're hot. Taste the real fruit, so hot, hot, hot. Real fruit fillings give Pop Tarts an incredible taste. So hot. Our lords, it's the terrestrial warriors. I am Lord Power, leader of the lords. Riptog and Lagos are attacking. We must help Psyduck defend Balkan Rock. Our lord, Riptog has four fists. Psyduck is finished. It's Lord Power. He zapped Riptog's head. But Argus has Psyduck. <laughs> Our lords. And empower Sidot, Grip, Tog, and Arcus are each sold separately from the Power Lords collection, you from Ravel. Hey guys, shouldn't be giving me a hard time. I mean, I may not be so big now. But I'm drinking milk. Because in these years, I'm growing faster than I ever will again. And I need milk's calcium for bones. And protein for muscle, more now than I ever did as a kid. In fact, this is how I'm going to look when I'm 19. I don't forget a name or a face. I'll probably have forgiven you guys by then. But you never can tell. Milk, it does a body good. Boy, Fifi Shaw gave me a warm welcome home. Yeah. Poor Stu and Dwight. I'll bet they need a vacation. I guess they learned that stealing can have grave consequences. But don't worry. I'm sure their criminal plans have been laid. The rest. <laughs> Say, go watchers, wanna see the slides from my trip? No! Way! 
join us next week, boils and gargoyles, for another fear fest. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you liked our show for the day. Make sure that you go check us out on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't already. And what else do they need to do, Yizzle? Like and subscribe, mash, smash the like button, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook. You go next I already, week I already for said a brand that. new I already episode. Said that. I already said that. I already said that. And be here with us. When? Next week? Next week for a brand new episode of Cartoon Max out! Family Max!